What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to classify a triangle as acute, obtuse, or right based off of just the lengths that were given. Okay so let's start with this one right here. Here we have a triangle with three side lengths 6, 11, and 14. Okay so would these three side lengths form an acute, obtuse, or right triangle? Well the way that you check that is by using the Pythagorean theorem. So again that's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now, as you might notice, I left the equal sign blank, right? And that's because this is going to change. It's going to vary a little bit. Now, if when we plug in these numbers for a, b, and c, if c squared is bigger than a squared plus b squared, then that means this set of numbers creates an obtuse triangle, okay? If this is, if a squared plus b squared, if those two are bigger than c squared, the hypotenuse, then that means these three side lengths form an acute triangle, okay? And if a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, well then that means these three side lengths form a right triangle, okay? So we're gonna leave this blank for now. Let's just fill in our numbers for a, b, and c. Okay, so remember a and b are the lengths of the two shorter sides, so here we can see that would be 6 and 11. So here we're gonna have six squared plus 11 squared, and then C is the biggest side, the hypotenuse, right? So it's 14. Okay, so here we have 14 squared. So here uh, we have 36 plus 121, and on this side, 14 squared is 196. So here, 36 plus 121 is equal to 157, right? So we have 157 on this side, and 196 on this side. So clearly the bigger number is 196. Okay, so we got basically that c squared is bigger than a squared plus b squared. So again, that means that these three uh, triangle lengths form an obtuse, obtuse triangle. Okay, let's try just a couple more really quick. So we have the square root of 11, square root of seven, and four. Okay, so again, we want to use a squared plus b squared and compare it to c squared. So a and b are the two shorter sides. And here, what would the two shorter sides be? Well, let's see. I don't know what the square root of 11 or the square root of 7 is, but I can use some perfect squares, right? The square root of 11, I know that's got to be somewhere between the square root of 9 and the square root of 16. Now, the square root of 9 is equal to 3 and the square root of 16 is equal to 4, so the square root of 11 must be somewhere between 3 and 4. Okay, so if it's somewhere between 3 and 4, we obviously know that means it's less than 4. So the square root of 11 must be one of the short sides, so we can write the square root of 11 there, and remember it's going to be squared, plus what would the other short side be? Well, it would be the square root of 7, since the square root of 7 is obviously smaller than the square root of 11. Okay, so the other small side is the square root of 7 squared, and then we're going to compare that to the hypotenuse squared, right? So here we're going to have 4 squared, all right? Now, whenever you square a square root, or when you square a radical, they cancel out. So then here we're just left with 11, okay? So here we have 11 plus, and then here, again, these cancel out, so we're just left with 7. And again, uh, we're going to compare that to 4 squared, which is 16. So here we get 11 plus 7, which is 18, compared to 16. So here, 18 is obviously bigger than 16. So that means a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared. So that means this one would be a little cutie pie. Boom. All right. Now, one last one here. And a little hint. This is actually a Pythagorean triple. So 5, 12, and 13, uh, again, we want to just use the Pythagorean theorem, right? So a squared plus b squared and compare it to c squared. So we're going to plug in 5 and 12 for a and b. So we get 5 squared plus 12 squared on this side, and on the right side, c squared is going to be 13 squared. So here we get 25 plus 144. And on the right side, 13 squared is equal to 169, nice, right? So 25 plus 144 is equal to 169. And here we have 169. So since these two are equal to each other, 
then that means these three sides right here form a right triangle. Boom! So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.